What is up people? We're back with another video, finally in the new Model Y. So this is a limited edition Model Y that I have. I've been using it for a month now, uh, 2000 kilometers. So I thought I'll just make a quick video update on what's happening. Uh, I mean, the reason why I changed my car was because uh, to be honest, I needed to go back to an SUV level car. And I did get the, the Model 3 last time because it was the recently updated car. So I said, you know what, if I'm getting a new car, I'd rather it being uh, the updated Tesla. Uh, but since there's a new Model Y with basically almost the same interior as my other car, the only thing that you have now is the stock over here. So I don't know if you can see, so I'm, I'm using it now. Personally, I think it's better than the, the indicators um, because the problem with the indicators for signals was that when you're doing, uh, let's say, multiple turns at a time. So let's say we have a turn over here and then I want to turn back to the, uh, I have to turn quickly to the right. It would be hard to put signals again, right? So now with the stock, I think super good that we're going back to the stock. I know it's a debated subject, but I think for the average user of a car, for sure you want to have the stock. The other thing that's important is, is the buttons. Okay, crazy. I mean, they're so much easier to use. I don't know if you can hear them. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, so they're, they're so much easier to click. All right, on my new Model, th on my Model 3, had an issue with uh, the buttons so they would be like buggy sometimes you're not sure if you're clicking them but here you get a super nice feedback that you're actually pressing the buttons okay next step front camera okay so look at that you have your front camera now it's on the bottom of the car now we can see the speed bump i don't think it does anything for now see a speed bump over here so I don't think it does anything for FSC at the moment but I do think that it's going to be useful for parking especially uh, and this is the bug we have uh, with the with the double stops. I didn't press it, but this have to fix that issue. So cameras that's that's new. Rear camera, nothing new over there. Uh, besides that, I mean, a few minor changes with the old Model Three, but nothing crazy. So FSD, I think, is the same as well. Not much different. We're we're still on on version thirteen. Uh, and they're just doing dot releases for now. Nothing major changing. The biggest problem, I don't know if it's gonna do that double stop bug. Yeah, see, it was gonna stop again. There's a car behind me, so I'm just gonna press the gas. But biggest problem we have with uh, self-driving now is that it goes for the stops. Let's see again here. It comes almost close to a zero, but it just stops at one. And then if it doesn't go fully to zero, it's going to start rolling. There's a car behind me, so I'm not going to show it to you guys, but there's, it's going to start rolling a bit and then it slams the brakes again or hesitates. You could hesitate multiple times and that's one thing that could be annoying. That's a speed bump. I'm going to slow down four, which is not seeing. Uh, so yeah, still misses some speed bumps, but it's much, much better than it used to be. It's messing up on these stop signs. I'm just going to press the gas causes a person behind me so you know what guys i know the, the purpose of the the channel is fsc but i think i'm i'm probably going to stop making purely self-driving videos because there's not going to be any points you know what fsc can do everyone knows that and i think what i'm going to focus on if i ever upload is just whatever i want to talk about i'm going to post it so here we go we're moving forward there's a car coming in and see that the bug again with the stops pressing the gas So I'm just gonna make videos of what I wanna talk about, unless there's a huge patch and then I'll talk about the patch, but it's not as exciting. When you're driving the car on a regular basis and you know what FSC can do and what it can't do, then there's no point making videos for it. And really right now, like I said, speed bumps, stop signs, some signaling issues, uh, like, okay, that was actually a green. Sorry, I couldn't see it because it was blocking here. Uh, and I just stopped paying attention for a second. So that was green. No intervention was needed. Yeah, a few minor things that are eventually going to get fixed. Uh, and when there's a big patch, I'll definitely upload. But I want to talk about 
I think what's important um, for the company, which is actually getting self-driving to work, I'm gonna press the gas. No, you know what? Before that, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to something uh, that I, I think is also important. There's a speed bump here, so you're just gonna have to slow down. Okay. Number one complaint about self-driving, I think, right now, is that, and this is people who either don't own the, the software or don't think that the software is worth it because of the mistakes that it's going to make. And their argument is that FSC is not perfect yet. So what's the point? Well, the point is that it's still helping you to make your drive more comfortable. What's the point of having cruise control, right? If you're on the highway, see, this is a bug. If you're on the highway and using, I would always use cruise control on my Mazda when I had it because the most annoying thing is to do the daily routine of driving, of making sure that you're going the perfect speed and you're not going over limit, um, and that you know you're not having to adjust the pedal for your speed all the time. So you just put it on cruise, and if you have to react, you're going to react to your situation. Self driving now is like a cruise control on on a booster, right? So we're at our destination. I'm just going to end trip. Uh, I'm not going to put a destination. I'm just going to do random. See where it takes me. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me just take a random destination over here. Uh, let's go back. So how, how should you use FST? I, I forgot what I was saying, but okay, so yeah, people wouldn't use FSC because they think it's it's not worth it, right? It's not perfect yet, and you can't sleep behind the wheel, so what's the point? Sure, I mean, if it's not doing what you want it to do and you don't want to pay for it, that's completely fine, but I'm, I want to tell you guys what I use it for, which is basically, I, I never drive without FSD. I cannot drive a normal car anymore because you're just wasting so much brain power to make sure that everything is perfect making sure signals are perfect stops are perfect uh speed limit which i still have to pay attention that's the other thing speed limits are not always uh respected especially on the highway it's much better now in the small streets but highway just decides to adjust uh, by itself randomly but look, what it does for you is that you barely have to pay attention anymore to all the small details all you have to do is make sure that everything is safe to me that is worth a hundred dollars if you're waiting for it to be perfect and that is my guess i don't know if this this is all my opinion i have no affiliation with anything any company any person i don't get any money from anyone but my opinion if you're waiting for the software to be perfect for it to drive you from one place to another without having to touch your wheel, you're not gonna be spending $100 anymore per month. It's just gonna be much more expensive than that. So, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how you would technically, how you would use a software, right? So here, let's say the car is turning, we're waiting. There's no rush. And then if you wanna be more aggressive, look, if you don't want to wait for FST because you're in a hurry, you know, I'm just, I'm pressing the gas. I'm going to show you guys how you can drive with just pressing the gas and still making the the drive much more enjoyable. All right, so here, technically, it does have to take the, the right, oh, it could be a good test to see. <laughs> so, you know what? I, I never test FST anymore when I'm driving alone. I know that for, if I really needed to be there, right now I have nothing to do, right? So... When I'm filming, I have no place to be. I'm not in a hurry, so I'm filming for the fun of it. And then it's when I'm going to be testing things most often. But here, technically, it cannot go straight, so I have to turn. And you just have to take over. If it's going to make a mistake, guys, just take over. You know, I if you really wanted to make your turn at the light, you have to take over before uh, before the light. You have to take the lane that you ha you want to take. Right, because yeah, it's not perfect. So you do have to pay attention. You know the limitations of the software. You know when it could correct itself and when it's not gonna correct itself. If you see that it's not slowing down for a speed bump, you're gonna slow down for the speed bump. 
here if I if I was worried that it was not going to stop for the guy I would slam the brakes here if I was worried see these are all things that I know is is going to be fine okay but here at the stop sign say people hate the stop signs with FSC but look what you would do okay it's coming to a stop you don't want to stop more than that it's at three perfect boom I'm pressing the accelerator no hands there's a speed bump here is it going to see it it did see it but I was ready to press the brakes and I don't have to do all the turning and all that another stop sign I'm just trying to show you you come down you don't want to stop too much car behind me I press the gas now I'm gonna wait and that's how you use it on a daily drive if I have people in in the back seat or if I have people driving with me and they're not used to uh, FSC, they don't want to, like, you know, it could make people nauseous if they're not used to the driving of self-driving. So I, I correct it to avoid them feeling bad. You don't want it to stop fully. You go. I'm still not, pre I'm not touching anything. I'm just pressing the gas. And you tell me, I'm, uh, is this harder? Is, is this harder than... Uh, I mean, does it make your life easier? I think for me it does. So here I know it's going to make a full stop because it has to wait for the other guy. Come on, still didn't make the full stop. <laughs> but that's that's the glitch that it's having right now. I'm going to take this off. So yeah, there's ways. You don't need to let the car do all the stupid things that it wants to do, right? It is it is called self-driving software, but it's it's not ready to be self-driven. And that's where people bug. Oh, but oh, oh, it's not self-driving. It's not good yet. It's not ready yet. No one's saying it is. The second that it's going to be ready to drive itself, I don't know. If someone wants to take a bet with me, I press the gas here because, you know, why not? The guy's going to be confused if I try to make a full stop, so I'm going to make it. There's a car coming in front of me. I'm not stressed here. This is, you know, not stressful. Stop sign again. I'm going to show you guys. Just press the gas. But yeah, if anyone, I'm 100% I'm honest here, okay? If you're waiting for the software to be solved and you think it's going to be worth $100, I'm willing to bet you $1,000. Anyone that wants to sign the contract with me, I would sign 10 contracts, okay? Here it's gonna wait for the car, there's a car coming, interesting scenario. <clears throat> See, I was just not super comfortable there. I took over. I'm not gonna scratch the car for, for the test right now, but I think it would have been fine. So just take over when you have to. Anyways, 10 people, okay? If you wanna take the bet with me, <laughs> It's going to be super hard, but I'm ready to sign it. 10 people, $1,000 each. If you're waiting for self-driving to be perfect, that you can use your phone, sleep in it, and you think it's going to be worth $100, and we'll, I'm, I'm betting that it's going to increase in price, at least double, probably three to five times range that it could increase. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So this is the state of FSD. Like I said, I'm probably just gonna make videos when I feel like it, just to talk about my opinions on the subject. It's it's obviously gonna happen. Right now it's making my life easier. But then again, uh, do what you wanna do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.